Hey guys, welcome to my 24th app review and it's going to be for a game called Mini Go. I said I was going to do field runners but my friend's in the middle of a game of that so I'm going to let him finish that and review that some other time. But it will be out soon so don't worry. Um, Mini Go, as you saw at the start, is there's a little icon. It's 59p in the app store or 99 cents and it's just a little game where you run around a lot um just say now some content in this may make some people uncomfortable i don't know who but there's some people that don't like this kind of thing so it does involve a bit of blood so don't be surprised the options just involves what difficulty mode you want to do, stuff like that, but you have to unlock the difficulty mode, which is good. You can see your high scores, credits, which no one ever uses. But let's just go right in ahead and play. Now, the controls to this are pretty interesting. You have to... Just let me zoom out a bit here. Wrong way. Um, use these to move around and fire. And... A lot of little black things will come charging at you basically and your aim is to kill them basically before they can hit you I think if one does hit you it gives you about three lives or something so if you do get hit then it won't make you lose automatically um, but you want to keep all your lives for as long as possible and some of them will be bigger than others some will have fire and as you will see hopefully soon some of them drop a little four leaf clover and if you collect three of those four leaf clovers ah I just got hit there so as you can see you speed up and get to run away but if you get one of those four leaf clovers like I mentioned like that's one there if you manage to collect four of them I'm not gonna be yes I am got it if you collect three of them then you automatically get a power up which lets you become some kind of superhuman monster and you just run into the other things and eat them basically so that makes life a lot easier if you manage to get that this is on medium or hard difficulty I think it's not extreme but it's ah help I'm just trying to get that clover back there it is possible to miss the clovers but yeah this is medium difficulty and because I had to get 2000 points to unlock this um, you s actually start with 2000 points so you're not starting on zero oh, and as you can see there they just ate me that's not my highest score my highest score of 3430 you need 6000 to unlock extreme which is pretty difficult to get but that is a general idea of how the game works it's it's very it's different to how most games work in that you're really just moving your fingers you don't need the tilt or anything but I actually think it's a good way to make the games so for that reason this game I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 there's, there just seems to be something missing and maybe it's partly to do with the fact that you can't listen to your own music but the music isn't that bad anyway just turn up to match so you can ha so you can hear it there's some sound effects and the graphics pretty good so it's a good game definitely consider getting it it's a cheap price so I will wrap that review up now and I'll see you next time Bye.